that's his solar shower. It works good. Uh, during the heat of the day, if you take a shower in the daytime, I got 150 foot of hose that's scalding hot. So I start out with the cool water in the tank and work the hot water of the cold. And by the time your shower's about done, it starts running cold water. So I turn it off and just use the tank water and it's about 75, 80 degrees. This was a stand for an oil drum and the pressure tanks on some steam boiler somewhere and it was rusted out on the bottom, which is now the top. So I just turned it over. The black draws the heat in. It doesn't reflect any heat. When you want to fill it, you just do this. It'll start spewing water out. It might take about five minutes because it was probably half full. Mm -hmm. Of course, I had to buy the PVC piping and things. The hose comes here, the main water source. Mm -hmm. And then I got a splitter. One goes for cold water in the shower. And I've got it filling right now uh -huh. on this one. Uh -huh. And to carry through, this line goes on and I, I use it to water the garden. The tank stays about 75, 80 degrees, I think. But the water in the hose is, I'd say, 105 degrees. It's scalding hot. You can't get under it. So I mix it and get it down to where you can shower it. There it goes. Full now. The sprinkler head. I bought a shower head to go with it. And the doggone shower heads nowadays won't work with a gravity flow because they're a pressure system for water saving. So to get that to work, I bought a backyard sprinkler and drilled the holes out. And it's just really a fine shower. You want a shower? <laughs> Looks nice though. There's nothing like the outdoors for a shower. And it's plumb nice having your own shower.